Today, let's talk about the Brooks Saddle and how has it been after a couple thousand miles. Picking a saddle for your bike is probably a more difficult decision than even picking the bike itself. It's where you spend the majority of your time. When you're on the bike, you're sitting in the saddle. And an uncomfortable saddle makes for an uncomfortable tour and an uncomfortable ride that doesn't make you happy. So when you're looking at saddles, there aren't too many people who do touring that haven't considered a Brooks saddle. Lots of people talk about them. Some people love them, some people hate them. That's much the case with every saddle that's out there. So what are my thoughts after a couple thousand miles? I'm a fan of the Brooks. I think it's a great saddle. It's been very comfortable for me. It did take about 500 miles before these sit bone locations kind of came into play. Hopefully you can see those right in here and here. I did buy the Proofide that you get from Brooks. So listen, let's talk about that just real quick. Here's the Proofide, right? This stuff right here. This stuff that Brooks sells. Here's what it looks like. Kind of looks like Vaseline. I don't know what's in it. Let me put the lid back on it here. I'm not sure what's in it, but it's what Brooks recommends on their saddles. And if you're gonna spend the kind of money a Brooks saddle costs, why wouldn't you buy the product that they recommend to put on it? So I put that on there. Everybody's got their own theory about how often. For the first couple of weeks, I would put it on there about once a week, both top and bottom underside. Now I only do it about, I don't know, probably once every three or four months. The other question that I get a lot of times is, what do you do about in the weather? Well, if I'm biking and it's weather, I don't really worry much about it if I'm honest. Um, there are a lot of folks who do cover the, you know, have the cover that goes over their saddle if it's raining. But I don't spend a lot of time out in the rain and riding. If you, if you do, perhaps, uh, and you're on a tour and you're concerned, buy the cover. I have heard of guys who, who take a shower cap and put over their seat while they're driving, like if it's on the back of your car or in the back of your truck. Personally, I just mark my seat post with a white paint pen and then take the, just take the whole seat off and throw it in the trunk. It's not a big deal. That way I don't have to worry about it. So overall, am I happy? Yeah, I'm happy. I don't have any uh, major pain other than the normal pain you're gonna have because you don't uh, ride often enough and no seat's gonna uh, stop that issue. Um, it's, it's still stiff, but it has just enough give to take a little bit of the bounce out. I did make some minor adjustments. I am just a little bit above level and I found that to be more comfortable for me. I also am a fan of the Imperial with the slit here in the middle. Um, I think it's a little less painful in my experience. I haven't had to make any adjustments here or anything. And some people say, well, don't the rivets hurt? No, can't even tell they're there. It's been a great saddle. I think you should give it a shot if you haven't. I think you would find that you might enjoy a Brooks saddle and that you know, it's just uh, becomes comfortable over time. And this is a saddle that if you take care of it, truly can last you a lifetime. So there's a link in the description for the Brooks saddle that I bought. Appreciate all of the subscribers and the views and the folks who watch the videos. I hope you'll consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Hope to talk to you again soon.